What's up everyone? It's Lauren Stark and I am coming to you from day two of our city's 30 day quarantine. So I'm here in Las Vegas and two days ago, Governor Sisolak came out and announced a 30 day shutdown quarantine for all non-essential businesses in the city of Las Vegas and also gaming statewide. So there is not one slot machine to be played. Gaming is completely shut down. Casinos are shut down. Restaurants and bars are shut down. They are offering takeout. Salons are shut down. So all non-essential businesses are shut down. Uh, based on the research that I've done and the graphs that I have seen and researched, you know, over the past couple weeks since this coronavirus really came to a head, I think that was the wisest decision, um, especially for our city of Las Vegas that relies so heavily on tourism and hospitality and service worker industry to kind of really minimize and stop the spread so that our city can rebound even quicker. I'm pretty confident that Las Vegas will rebound and it will come back quickly as long as we can contain this spread and people can you know, self-isolate and really do their part. Um, just prior to this coronavirus really coming to fruition in such a rampant way, all the Las Vegas economic underlying factors were great, you know, for our real estate market. You know, interest rates were very low, you know, even prior to the Fed lowering interest rates even further. Um, inventory was low. There were buyers, there were sellers, you know, new home sales were doing really, really well. And now everything is just kind of put on hold for the time being. I did have a couple sellers reach out to me and uh, want to sell their properties and I actually kind of told them to sit tight for now. Um, you know, we are here for you virtually. We can, we're happy to do video conferencing. You know, we're totally accessible via email and phone. Um, but as far as property showings are concerned, I really feel that it's in our city's best interest to really kind of stay self-isolated. And that means not showing property, in my opinion. Um, for sellers who currently occupy their homes, you know, I don't think it's a good idea to have people kind of come in and, you know, look at your home and they could be carriers. Etc. And we all kind of know at this point in time that you can be completely asymptomatic, but be a carrier and pass it on to somebody else. Um, I had a high rise seller reach out to me. A high rise is especially tough right now. And I think that's one of the reasons that you're seeing such a widespread outbreak in New York is it's really hard to kind of quarantine when you have to ride an elevator every day. So a lot of the high rises have shut down all their amenities, their gyms, their pools, their coffee bars in an effort to kind of self-isolate as much as possible. You know, keeping in mind that you have to take an elevator to get to your unit, unless you're in super great shape. That's a great way to get some exercise is to take those stairs, and that's probably what I would do if I was living in high-rise full-time at this point in time. So it's just kind of a challenging situation. Another segment of the market that's going to be highly impacted is the condo hotel market because they are not taking any reservations. So interestingly enough, I have a couple buyers in the works just kind of watching the market and gonna see what happens over the next couple months to kind of assess you know, reservations and bookings and how that will kind of come back in the future. I know it's a super weird and scary time for everybody, um, you know, watching the news. It's, it's a little unsettling. What we're doing is doing our part in self-isolating as much as possible and really hoping that helps stop the spread so that we can rebound and come back even stronger, which I know Vegas will do. We've lived through 9-11. After 9-11, Travis got laid off from his job and you know the market looked a little bit scary then nobody was really traveling to las vegas and casinos and that was a scary time we rebounded from that then we had october 1st and that was a horrible 
horrible thing for our city and we rebounded even stronger. So I'm confident that given the underlying economic factors that were happening prior to this coronavirus, they were all very, very, very favorable for our city of Las Vegas, that once this kind of stops um, and we stop the spread, that we will get back to business as usual and people will get their jobs back. Plus, I think we will all be ready to go out and do something fun. I can't wait to go out and play a machine and go to restaurants and go to a bar. I think we're all gonna go a little stir crazy here, but it's important we do our part and that's what we're doing. Keep in mind we are available for any kind of phone or video chat or email chat. We are still helping our buyers and sellers. That being said, we are also doing our part to self-isolate so we can get back to business as usual. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, everyone, and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.